What's up, chumbags? Welcome to Serial Cleaners. So a few years ago, back in, I want to say like 2018 or 2019, I'm going to turn this down. And I'm going to turn this up. So it's like the same. It's, there we go. Right around there. Sure. Um, anyway, so back at that time, I, I was gifted a copy of... Wolfenstein Youngblood, which, uh, on the Nintendo Switch, which is a game that I, I've, in total, probably p played for about 30 minutes, and I don't know if you've ever seen uh, a copy of that game, but the physical copy is just the case, and then inside is a code that you then have to redeem on the Nintendo eShop, which is exactly what I did, but I guess Nintendo considers that a purchase on the eShop, and they give you like they give you the gold points or gold coins or whatever it is they're in shop currency and it just so happened that there was a sale on the nintendo eShop, and i could get a game that i had never heard of before called serial cleaner for free with the points i had and, and that's exactly what i did and then i ended up actually playing that game for more time than i played youngblood i, I was just really not a fan of it if you couldn't tell but lo and behold last week when we got an email for for this game i was like wow this game shares very similar title to the other game uh, it must be weird for marketing and then i clicked on the email and realized that this is the sequel to serial cleaner obviously now it's plural and it takes place in the 90s i don't know much else i played the first level just to check it out just to see how it is but um but yeah let's Let's jump in to some serial cleaners. It's going to be a chill stream. Um, I'm just going to hang out for a little bit. There we go. I'm actually, so, uh, this game, we got it for, you know, we got it on Response Station. I redeemed at 6.46 p.m. New Year's Eve, 1999. A lovely funeral home that serves as cleaner's hideout. It's almost time to party. Um... We got it for Respawn Station, and that's where the game went to the to that Respawn Station Steam account. And then I'm, but I'm logged into my own Steam account, so I'm borrowing the game from us. So it's a cool feature, though. I wish more places had the borrow feature. Look around, pan the camera using directional keys. Oh shit! I should probably have plugged in up. Oh well, oh well. We're gonna rock with it. All done on my end. You? Has the fridge been taken care of? Is that loud enough? I think so. Ah, brilliant. But my main concern is meatballs. All of them in the freezer? Oh, um, yeah. Um, well, but maybe a little louder? Oh, wait, maybe not. Almost. It's so confusing. I have one left. separate volume, Never obviously, had. on my computer for you guys, and then my headset also has a uh, of course its own did. audio, so it's of course we did. a whole bunch of levels. Let me know if it's too quiet. And also, I should, if I wanted to do that, I should probably pull up chat, too. 
Whoa, I just cleaned up a bunch of dishes. Is that is that what this game is about? Yep, yep, that, that's correct, Alexa. You are correct. This is um, entirely about uh, the meatballs. They were just talking about meatballs. Um, yeah, it's about that. Um, all right, that's good. Let's see. Let's get into character here. I'm, I'm, I'm in character. E. Let's eat up. You left another man. Christ almighty, hell. Don't be a bozo. We only got through this decade because we're not bozos. Bozos get Clearly. Killed. You want to be a bozo? Go down that road. Fine. But don't take us with you. Sorry, Bob. I, uh... Kinda. By the way, this game does at the start uh, have a epilepsy disclaimer, I believe. If it, I'm pretty sure it does. But I really want to stress that it's very flashy and in your face. It's part of the aesthetic. So just uh, forewarning, I wanted to throw that back out there. Um, that means we switch characters. So there we go. But I appreciate the forge work. I really do. Got to be the most. Alright, Cleaner Sands. Hold Alt to enter Cleaner Sands. You see the world through a cleaner's eyes and highlight ob objects of interest. Filter object types and switch floors using numeric keys. Pan the camera. Look. Festive oh, looking in New York City. I don't need it. Oh. I don't need a tutorial. Okay. Boost, hell gym to sprint. But obviously it draws attention to you as well. But things as well. So? Oh. Was he mad? What did he say? I, I think Hal should be like the down like you know, like the downer. Nothing worth mulling over. <laughs> well, oh, I, oh that. obviously I should have said this earlier. Um Thank you yo. to yo. What's up? Uh, thank you to uh, draw, draw Distance for giving us uh, the copy of the game to check out uh, today. I forgot to mention that at the top, but it's all, we're only seven minutes in. Hey, hello. Now I can hear you. Oh, you didn't hear me? No, I, I heard seven minutes. That's that's it. All right, so that's all you need to know. All right, now you should be good. Check and let me know if you're too loud or too quiet or whatever. All right. I just need to pull up the stream. All right, just because I I know what happens here, I know what the, I know what the deal is, so I'm gonna do this. Is this a game like uh, that you bought, or is this a review game? We got? <laughs> That's literally what I was saying. <laughs> That's what I, I said. Uh, we're only seven minutes in, so it's okay if I say it now. But I, I thank the publishers and developers for giving us a copy. Oh, uh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Uh, press control, yep. Cool. Because I did, I, I was going to buy it, because I was like, oh, like, it, we'll, we'll play it together. And it was like 25 bucks. Is there a co-op? <clears throat> I don't know. It's called Serial Cleaners. Yeah, yeah, plural. I assumed. Yep. Well, no. Because so, there's, okay. there is a game called Serial Cleaner. Yeah, that's the, the prequel. Oh, not the prequel, but that's, that's the first game. And this is the sequel to it. And that's what I'm saying. So why would they name it Serial Cleaners? I think it's, just, I think it's component. just for the... Well, and also, I think it's because there's four characters in this game. I don't know if you can switch between them. Okay, that could be something that we, we could check on the, the uh, e-press email we got, but hold F to unlock. Okay, cool. But how you been, Austin? It's been a few, been, few I've days. Been, I've been good, man. Obviously, I'm we haven't playing. talked... Have we talked since you got the job? I mean, not got the job since you've been on the job. I don't think so, right? Uh, I mean, we've texted. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I, well, I think we text pretty regularly. Oh, I would, I would say at least once, a, once a, every two days, uh, we, we, for sure. we talk in our group chats. Couldn't be helped. Um, Bob. But yeah, I really don't know. I don't remember. Everything's going good. I'm, I'm, I'm finally past the training stage. Oh, nice. So, like now, I'm actually getting work because I, I was literally at like. Fighting to not oh, wait, fall asleep. One sec. Uh, again, we're gonna go with the. Uh, every, everyone dumps on hell. That's sort of uh, I've decided. Magically clean itself up. Jesus, Mary, and who? Just get the hell out of here, Hal. Do something useful and get the oven heated. Oh, okie doke, Blatty. And take those damn shoes off first. All right, and then now we're on to the third character. All right, you can go ahead. No, that's it. I mean, I was just like I, I was because it's hybrid schedule, which I, I'm not used to being in an office again. Right, right, right. 
Um, That's what so everyone just, else like, on my team is, except uh, Alexa and I. They're all on a high schedule. Because you guys are con the contract, not. Yeah, right? yep, yep, yep. Well, so I was actually, no, we, we were supposed to be, so it's, it's, it's funny how it works. So we were both supposed to work, like also work from office, you know? And they actually gave us right. the seats too. Bless this mess. Um, And what, then uh, Alexa moved obviously. And yeah. so she reached out to my manager and my manager like, you know, really likes Alexa. So she was like, oh, it's cool. We'll, we'll keep you on and you don't have to come in. Yeah, obviously, because that'll be a long drive. <laughs> and right. then I guess because Alexa got away, like, you know, like they're like, oh, you know, we'll just give your seat away too, three. So like they gave my seat to and it's like another team. So, yeah, I, I, ended, up, I ended up not Very like, sweet. I was like, OK, cool. Yeah, no. I, I mean, it, it's actually, chill. I, I was I was talking about it the other day. I actually think I would like to work in office just to have a work life separation. You know? Yeah. No. I, so the, the the way it's broken up for me is Monday, Wednesday. I'm in the office, so I have Tuesday as like a buffer. Which is, uh, it's more like, of, which is why you you will be streaming Monday. Yeah. Wednesday. Well, once I, like once I actually get everything situated, that I want to get right. situated. Um, but yeah. Because I can stay up later because I don't have to wake up early to do the drive. Yeah, man. All right. I think there's going to be a lot of dialogue in the scene. But let me see if I remember. Party time. So, so this is all just cleaning up murders? Yep. Yep. Pretty much. Yep. That's it. The, but there's like story in between. So that's what like I think we're about to get into like the first story thing. So that's I feel like I've seen a, 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 like trailers for a TV show that's very similar to this where it's called like the maid or like something stupid like that and it's just the exact same the exact same thing did you pause because it said crash <laughs> no no, no uh -oh. just because i saw a bunch of shit popping up on the screen i didn't even read it <laughs> it just distracted my thought Oh, there's gonna be music. I hope it's not DMCA or whatever, but you know, oral with it. Leave it. At least it's not. Oh, clean conscience. You want to talk about Mitch Milton now? Have you uh, have you decided on getting your Steam Deck yet? You wanted to reminisce tonight. Let's reminisce from the start. I did not get it. I, I got the email. I got the email a while ago. Like a few months ago, and then just because I was like, I already knew that I was going to be changing jobs, right? And I didn't know what the money situation would necessarily be like the first couple of weeks, so I didn't want to like put myself in this big hole. Um, so yeah, I decided to to not get it. I did try to like text people that I think would want it, um, just to be like, hey, like, like you can, like, I'm not going to charge you anything, just you know, buy it and I'll put it in your house, yeah, and. And I had a couple people that were like, oh, let me think about it. And then they never got back to me. So like, yeah, it was yeah. only like it held it for, I think, two days or something. Right, like, right. And that's it. So I got my $5 back. Yeah, I put get, down. Get, get it back for the big guys. Yeah. And uh, I, I bought um, uh, Getting Over It with that money. This door frame is perfectly blocking my frame. Or my face. All right, here we go. First scene, 1990 New York City, Manhattan. The cleaner is back, fruit with his first NYC contract. But this place ain't no L.A. Everything seems off, including, including crimes. A resourceful, a resourceful crack peddler who ran this oasis of narcotic respite got robbed and killed by a local gutter snipe. Gutter snipe? I've never heard of that. The crack must flow, so this little incident cannot see the light of day. Have you seen that word? Gutter snipe? Gutter snipe? Gutter snipe. How do you pronounce that? Can you look that up? I'm just I would, curious. I would imagine gutter snipe would be pronunciation. Back in action. A scruffy and badly behaved child who spends most of their time on the street. I've never uh, fucking you know heard what? this word before. I, 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 need to, I, need I would call that, that a hoodlum. Yeah, I need to write that. Dude, you know what's crazy? Okay, so you know the word thug, right? Uh -huh. That that word comes from India. It originated. Really? Yeah, so it's... um. From my understanding, so oh, it's a second title card. Seriously. Oh, and this is a derogatory term. If you, if you oh, catch 
Okay. A, a, sim a similar term, which I also love this, because I never really hear it, ragamuffin. Ah, uh, of course. <laughs> of course. Your main objective is to dispose your bodies. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so thug. How, w from my understanding, thugs were, like, people who would, like, roam the streets and, like, pickpocket and steal stuff. And mm -hmm. it was, I think it was a, the the longer word was, like, thuggy or something like that, or some some, some other, it, it comes from scan Sanskrit, I believe. But when the British took over India, these people would steal from them, and so the British would be like, ah, these thugs. And I think the British just then, like, took over the fra like the phrase and then it got indoctrinated into English language so <laughs> that's something I did not know in it and, and now we have thuggies and snuggies hell yeah over over in the states but yeah this is the game um there's multiple objectives in the top left so you can, there's blood level and then so you need to get like rid of up to the white bar of in blood and then you also need to get rid of three bodies and three evidences and that's kind of the how do you get rid of a body? It's like there's a place where you can go to in each level to dispose of it. Um, so you first wrap it up. But um, no, I, I asked about the Steam Deck uh, because I was um, <coughs> this morning. I woke up and we got an email from from someone. Um, not about a Steam about. Deck, but <laughs> no, 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 not a game that's like Steam Deck compatible. No, no, no! It's 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 a device that's like the Steam Deck. Um, is it the Nvidia one? No, no, no! Uh, no uh, you mean Logitech? Is it is it Nvidia making one? Uh, I think there, there's actually I think a couple of them already out. Because um, I know the Logitech one is is streaming exclusive, so you can only use like XCloud or you know stream your PC stuff to it. But that's like that, the one but... that you can do Game Pass on, right? You can do a Game Pass on all of them. Um, because, it, you know, xCloud is just like, well, so as long as it's a Windows machine, right? So as long as it has Windows com compatibility, you can just download uh, Game Pass and get xCloud on it. But, but yeah, we got an email about it. And so uh, we're, we're in discussion. I don't want to say any names right now or anything like that, just in case we don't do anything or, you know, it's something like that. But right, 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 still, right, right. It, it was interesting that I was thinking about because it it's very similar to the Steam Deck. Um, and they had a previous model that came out. Um, relatively recently and I've like it got pretty good reviews from like IGN I know reviewed it and it gave it pretty good reviews and stuff so I was like very intrigued actually no you know what I think I shared that review with you guys in our group chat alright throw I'm not gonna fucking throw shit I'm not a child so there's a dotted line around the character that line pretty much says what the sound level of like how far you can hear so like right now it's super big and then if I lower it it's not so that that's running or that's regular walking that's running uh, can I do it 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 all right we're good we're good, we're good. coming Someone's playing Apex Legends. As they should be. <laughs> it's, never, it's a game I never got into. Mainly because I'm I think, really bad at it. Well, I think it's substantially better than Fortnite. If I'm being honest. Like, I when know. I played well, Apex... Because, well, like, like, look, I haven't played too much Apex, but I, like, I've played Titanfall, and I know Titanfall is really, really good. And it's the same gameplay. But the the thing for me is that the, the, the I think the learning curve is even greater than the, the building learning curve of Fortnite. Um, and now I don't even play the uh, Fortnite one. Like I don't even play. Yeah, you just the build. play no build. Yeah. So we can save at the bottom, but I, I don't need to save. I'm a pro. I can do this easy. I don't know if I'm going to change the title of this later once it goes up, because sometimes I do that, but right now the title is Serial Cleaners is like Power Wash Simulator with Criminals. And I actually, out of just weird curiosity, I did pick up, or not pick up, I downloaded Power Wash Simulator. Power Simulator. It's actually really satisfying. It's just one of those things, like for me personally, I like if, you, if you're someone who just thinks that 
so, like anything just checking off any little box is satisfying for you then it, you, you could it's really good game uh but after like three four maps i was like i'm i get it <laughs> i've seen i've seen it you know what i mean i, I was i was good there's actually like a lot of these kind of games too which, which i like what, well, yeah but it's very surprising but i think that power Rock simulator was like like i think it like really went to the top like of, of that kind of list with how many people were raving about it well, a lawnmower simulator also had like a huge really? following as well oh yeah no i think um alexa's mom would be really into that oh, shit. i mean ba based off of the the story alexa told of um like her mom needed to to vacuum in just a certain pattern right, right. and then they got a Roomba and then her mom just followed the Roomba around yeah <laughs> yeah yeah it's it's yeah it's similar because like you know whenever I go to Alexa's house I, I always like you know they have the one of the smart TVs that always had like you know YouTube and everything on it and whenever uh, I go to like the YouTube channel or the, the YouTube app it's just like it, it's just a bunch of lawnmower videos it's very, it's, uh, I mean, They're it's satisfying. very satisfying. Like, yeah. I, I, oh, 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 shit. Good. Yeah, no, and, and, and seeing a, like, nicely, nicely cut, orderly lawn. Yeah, yeah. I've never, like, sat on a, like, a riding mower or anything, but I, I would feel like... Like riding mowers would be very common. I've, I've only sat on them like in uh, the, at the store, you know, like outside, like Home yeah. Depot. What's up, Kevin? How's it going? Box. What oh, no, up? It's a cat in a box email. Oh, Alexa was in chat too. Well, yeah, I just yeah. cleaned up a bunch of dishes. What is this game about? It's about stuff. No, she said, "Is that what this game is about?" Oh, is that what this game is about? <laughs> it's past that hour of the night where I I lose the ability to actually read properly. A bingo! Oh shit! I'm gonna crack carry this. You would think these police officers would offer some assistance. Right. Giving these bodies. I think I'm almost done this first level. Or you just have to dispose of that body and you're yeah, done. Yeah. Also, this guy just staring out the window. Yeah, right? He's is pointless. This is what your taxpayer money is going towards. <laughs> one guy doing all the work and one guy staring just... out the fucking window. I wonder what Deborah's up to. <laughs> wow, I wonder where this guy getting rid of all these bodies is. <laughs> Alright, beautiful. And then the getaway. Give me an achievement for that. I deserve one. Clean getaway, clean cleaning, done, I don't know. Okay, a new broom sweeps clean. Alright, I'll take it. Alright, children. I did make a a, a, a purchase. Um, going to work. I had I had a water bottle. That was a water weird, bottle. Had, that was a weird. The way you said that, you're like, I saw a guy on the corner of the road. I went up to him. I asked, "Do you have the stuff?" And I made the purchase. Well, so I I had a water bottle, as we all know. Right, right. I had a bunch of stickers and shit on it. Right. Um. And I didn't want people to know how big of a fucking nerd I am, just right off the bat. Makes sense. So I bought myself a coldest water bottle. Oh, did you use our code? Uh, no, because I found it cheaper <laughs> than the website. Then ten percent. Amazon had a, a sale where they were like half off. Uh, they just gave us, I think, a new code, but I don't know what I don't know what the percent is. Percent is. All right, who am I playing as here? Let's see. Let's. So Dude, I got myself a, a nice 30, a 32 ouncer. I don't know what size mine is. Is, is it the? It's probably the. It's same. probably the same one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. 1991 Minnesota. How lost control? He, that's a uh, that's a fact. And it, but Siberians pulled their guns first. It was a us or them kind of situation. Your, Alexa is, did yours, confirm okay, yours okay, is 32 cool, ounce. Cool, cool. Hers is. 
Okay, and hers so is also one. hers is different though because uh, she has like the one that you can like it's a straw, you know. Um, That's what I got. But I, got a straw. I, 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 I like you know I'm a, I'm a waterfaller, so I got the just a spin top or whatever it is. Um, it was us or them kind of situation. Don Rena would understand. He would let it slide. If only Moorhead policemen didn't follow them. If only Polly could shut up just for a goddamn second. Speaking of Polly, um, I finally started playing Mafia, which is, of course, our game club game. I thought you were going to start talking about The Sopranos. <laughs> but I guess, I guess about, about the same. Yeah, yeah, very close. Oh, there's dialogue. It's not. It's not still our game, right? It was like two months ago. We didn't. Well, we never did a video. We have to do a podcast on it, and then we move on to the next one. And Dude, I, think loading, is, I think loading just finished it like last week. So, see, I played. I played. I played and beat Mafia Two, and I was like, "Oh shit, this is really good." And I picked up Mafia Three. No, not as good. Um, not. No, I didn't even like. But, I, like I, I played like the first hour, and then didn't touch it again. This guy is fucking and, screaming. This. The one thing and I've I heard like, nothing but really good things about the first Mafia. So, so the one thing I like about Mafia, it's wood chipper. Oh my god. The one thing I like about Mafia is uh, three. Sorry, is that can I not put this guy in the wood chipper? Oh, I guess not. No, that's a waste of resources, Siri. Um, Jeez. I feel like that would be inefficient in cleaning. So I don't know. I have to kill. So maybe not. Um, is that it's like really intensely accurate depiction of that period of time and the fact that they chose to make you as a black man in that time is like very uh -huh. cool. like they they had an idea of what they wanted but i think that there's so many just problems with the game on a technical level that i i just and i have a full review on respawnstation.com you can check it out but um yeah i i was not that, that was really what held it back for me but so here's a crazy thing i've been i don't know if you saw my tweet but i've been playing Mafia Definitive Edition in the noir mode, which is entirely in black and white, and it is so good. I'd like never played a game entirely in black and white before, and it is oh hell, you chainsaw. They have so uh, Ghost of Shishima. Oh right, the, can, yeah. You can not only put it in the noir mode, but you can change the aspect ratio to be like like a very stereotypical like samurai movie. Right, right. And you can make it in all Japanese with subtitling and everything, so it's like as authentic of a thing as like you can get to like a, a like a classic samurai flick. Also, I feel like I may have missed something because I I don't know how to use the chainsaw I just picked up, or did I drop the chainsaw when I went over? Um, today was a great day, a lot of work, it, <laughs> eating wings and a lot of coffee. The weather is better every day, sun and some clouds. It's that sounds worse like here. a good day to me. It's, it's getting worse over yeah, here. Dude. It's getting so cold. I'm, I'm... I, just, I just had to drop my car off because I'm getting all my tires changed. And I originally was going to drop my car off and walk because it's, I don't know, like half a mile away from my house. Right. But it was fucking pouring. Oh. So I was just like, hey, can someone pick me up? So, yeah, last time I took my car to get serviced, I was, um, oh, I carry the pieces? That's fun. Um... Oh, uh, that's and then you put the pieces in the wood chipper, probably. Uh huh. Got to be efficient. It's, got yeah, it's, you know. Oh my god. Um. So last time I took my car to get service, I was like, oh, you know, down the road, it takes me like 10, 15 minutes to get to the to the movie theater nearby in the in the car. So I I went. I, I, give, I feel like I heard that like something happened, right? Well, nothing happened. It just took me like a fifty minutes, and it was it was brutal. Like my legs were just completely like sore the next day because of how long it was. Um, but I did. I made. I took me fifty minutes. I went and I watched uh, the movie Beast, and then I went um, with Idris Elba, and then I walked walked all the way back. And Speaking then, of movies, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I didn't watch it yet. A movie just came out called Smile. It's supposed to right, be right. fucking horrific, right? Uh -huh. I know nothing about this movie. Like, I haven't watched the trailer. Know nothing. Uh -huh. But there was a very cool thing that happened in terms of their marketing. I don't the, know if you know oh, about yeah, this. Yeah, the baseball games and stuff where they. Put... So, so playoff baseball just started this past week. Um, 
So I heard there's the a wild huge card. cheating scandal with the, like against the people with the Mets, like someone against the Mets. The Mets claimed someone cheated or something. The Mets are salty. Yeah, I mean, so the Mets this year are the Which first. Makes sense. I uh, saw the team. stats and I was like, that's kind of that's kind of brutal. Yeah, they're they're the first team in MLB, MLB history to win a hundred games in a season. Which to put in perspective, that it's a hundred out of like one hundred sixty-eight games or one hundred sixty-three games or something okay. like that. So they won a fucking a large amount of their games, mm -hmm. and they're the only team that had over a hundred wins in MLB history and lose in the playoff, the first round of the playoffs. <laughs> so actually, technically, they didn't make the playoffs. They were in a wild card, and it's best of three series, and they lost. So that's why they're super salty. But the creators of the movie Smile, it's a horror movie, um, which I, I guess has to do with some sort of like infectious, horrific smile, and right. like. Like I like I said, I don't know anything about this movie, mm. but the advertising was smart as shit because I would have never realized it. I did watch playoff baseball until someone showed it to me and showed me pictures. So what they did was they hired people, they hired actors to sit behind home plate and just had this weird, creepy smile. But they had to make sure that they were seen by the camera that would be shown on national television. And that was the promotion that they ran. Mm -hmm. If nobody caught it, you would have never fucking known. And it, it was the also, fact that it, it was just, just regular baseball. fucking it was people. On, like, I think like, it was like, everything. It was across the board. Yeah, it was a like, Good Morning America or something like that. Like also like yeah, uh, anything that had a national audience and had like an opportunity for someone to be in the background, they did. And it's by far the coolest fucking advertisement I've seen. Like this cool like promotional thing for a movie, because once again. Everyone would just see that and be like, what's up with this creepy fucking smile, you know? Yeah, but yeah. It's, it's a whole promotion for a movie, which, I don't know. It, it, when I saw it, it got sent to me. I was like, I would have never realized that. When I watch baseball, I'm not looking at the fucking crowd Probably, behind them. Yeah. But it, it's just a, it's a cool little thing because it kind of, you know, ties in with whatever the movie is about. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. I don't watch baseball, but I, I did see that. Oh, fuck, fuck. But yeah, it's, it's probably a movie I'll watch. I'll watch some of it too. Because people have been saying how how actually legitimately I, I, scary. No, I, I, if you is. wanted to watch, uh, oh, I'm so screwed, dude. I'm so screwed. I'd watch a. Uh... Oh, get out! I'm dead. <laughs> wow, they're just coming in there. You could be taking a like shit. shit. Yeah, yeah. Didn't even knock. Um, watch Barbarian and don't look up anything about it. Like just watch. Like that's what I did. Um, and I and I, um, I told Alexa to do the same. Uh, and she went with her dad to see it. And I freaking I had a great time watching this. Watch them, please. Uh, Alexa said we should do a watch party if two this month. Maybe. I don't know if you meant it oh, too, for a horror movie. or two. I don't. We think should it, do. A, I don't think it is no, is, is no longer <laughs> on Prime. It was. I don't know if that's what she meant though. She just said we should do a watch party if two if, this month. Oh, she or, means two. Like or two. Or two. Yeah. yeah okay, okay. Okay. That's why I, I didn't know. It could have been it too, or it could have been or two. Um, I'm good. So um, next weekend I'll also be streaming. Saturday I have a, a costume party that I'm going to, but we'll see how how long I stay there. What are you dressing up as? The Kool Aid Man. I, I just got the red sweatpants and a red sweatshirt, and I'm getting uh, black cardboard, uh, like or black construction paper or whatever, and making the face on my stomach, and that that's where I'm going as the Kool Aid Man. Nice. Felt like it was easy, and I could be like comfortable. I'd, honestly, that's the goal for all of my costumes: is be comfortable, be cheap, and still be somewhat clever. So that's like last year I went as uh, Dude Thor or whatever it's actually called, like the Fat Bro Thor. Thor, yeah. yeah Bro Thor, called. yeah. I don't know what it's called. Um, I think it seems on like that, yeah. Yeah. yeah so uh, the fat fucking the, the Big Lebowski. Called. I went as the Big Lebowski. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> This cop's an idiot. He saw me. He saw me go here twice. Clearly carrying something, and he's like, mm, I don't know. If, I don't know if it's worth chasing. Tax, tax, money at work. Yeah, yeah. Don't mind me, guys. Just clean up. I mean, in all fairness, it's poor. It's poor awareness by them. 
they didn't even, you know, tape it off. Like, I know it's supposed to be a crime scene and everything, but shouldn't that be, like, the first thing they do is tape it off? I'm not a cop or anything, but... It seems like they're, they're, they're really fucking up. Also, I do appreciate the fact that they just pull, like, a vacuum cleaner out their ass. Yeah, right. <laughs> Alright, time to get back to work. Like, it would, I think it would have made more sense if they had, like, one of those, like, backpack vacuums, and, like, you just had the hose. I right, guess it is right, a little right. funnier, though, to just pull out a whole-ass vacuum. Let's have the criminals do it. Oh, the also, where, where, where is the vacuum getting power? Has a... Oh, are you talking about for in this one? Yeah. You know, remote battery? We're in 2022, that's a thing. It's, no, this is 1990s, dude. This is set in the 90s. There were smart people in the 90s, they could have figured it out. Some fucking D-sized batteries? I'm just throwing some double Ds in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh shit, this vacuum, we need 50 double D batteries. And we I get feel like there was something two, bigger two than a D. Ease. There's, there's a bigger battery than a D. There's nothing bigger than my D, Austin, alright? Let me tell you that. Uh, okay. There's, I, I beg to differ. <laughs> alright, Kevin. Battery. Size. Oh, battery. Volt. No, 9 volt. 9 volt. 9 volt's bigger, right? No, I, I, that's what I was thinking. Maybe a 9 volt is, but no, D is in fact the biggest, so. <laughs> Hell yeah, I told it you. Goes, I told you. I told you. It goes. An A23 is the smallest, a AAA, now, can you a double tell, A. Yeah, can you, for the record, can you please say a C, three, yes, three, yes, nine your, volt, your D is the biggest. Can you D. please get that on record? Just, oh, fuck. Well, I mean, either way, the second base is a C, which, right. honestly, C or D could be used in the context. Right, right. Wait, what? C. Oh, I you, oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> See, my mind went somewhere else. And I was like, oh, okay. Where'd your mind go? The British word, you know? I was, I was hoping you would say it. That would... <laughs> <laughs> I knew I knew where it went. I was just hoping to, to catch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Can't catch me slipping. I, I was too, you know, I played... If, if I didn't get canceled for playing House Party uh, earlier this week, I, I'm good. I was going to call you out on that. Uh, cause you were like, oh yeah, like, we're, we're, whatever you're playing, we're just, we're not playing it anymore. We're, we're doing spooky stuff. Well, <laughs> and I, I, I see House Party, which is essentially just porn. Right, right. No, but here's you, the thing though, like, they sent me, so, the, I don't know if you tune in, so they sent me a copy of the, Do so the, the Doja Cat is in the game, and she's actually voiced by Doja Cat. Um, but the character- She actually went there after twerking twer with, uh... Was that her? No. That was no, Meg no, Stallion. I'm sorry. Yeah, that, with, with that was Master Chief. Yeah, yeah. yeah, The Twitch kind. No, yeah. Master Chief. That's what I said, didn't I? I was, talk I was talking about the She-Hawk. Oh. Well, oh. What oh, the Megan fuck happened with Master Chief? Oh, right. So, uh, Megan the Stallion was on at TwitchCon and she twerked uh, with uh, someone in Master Chief costume. Oh, shit. Fuck. Do you not see this? I see. Well, I, I'm a little delayed. Very little. Gotta outrun him. Gotta outrun I'm him. I'm so screwed, dude. I'm so screwed. I don't even know how to get away. I guess you just have oh to get out of their line of sight somehow. Oh, get, 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 oh, shit. Dude. It's a, it's a real effort. Leave. I, I'll give you that. Leave. <laughs> just leave me alone, bro. Oh, they're gonna use guns. No, I'm dead. They didn't have guns in the 90s. <laughs> nah, they got those batteries in there, dude. They're fine. <laughs> yeah, they, they have that uh, D volt. Or D volt, Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> they got the 9 volt batteries. They got the. Yeah, fuck a 9 millimeter. Got the 9 Vs. Oh, hey, so as I was saying, so they, they, sent, they sent me a code, and it's, by the way, it's me specifically, so. Got to appreciate. They, they, they were like, Siri. And no, no, we, no, yeah. We like, think you'd enjoy this for, for the for the channel for, for streaming. And I was on like vacation last week, uh, so I like I got it, and I was like, oh, that's interesting. But I was like, cool. I mean, I'll I'll play it. And then I realized that like in order to play the DLC, 
with Delja Cat. Had to beat the original game? No, you you just had to own the original game. You didn't have to beat it. Um, uh, you had to own it. And I was like, oh shit, I don't have the original game, guys. I'm sorry. And they're like, oh no, no worries. And they, they sent me a copy of, of, of the original amazing. game. Um, so I was like, okay, cool. And, but like, obviously, I was, I was like, you know, when I came back from vacation, it was like three days ago or four days ago at this point. And they, they emailed me. It's like, oh, dude, like, I'm, you, you know, like, um, we're, we're looking forward to to seeing what you do with the game, uh, you know, your, your coverages. And I was like, oh shit. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I hope they're satisfied with me trying with me fighting Doja Cat. Yeah, it was uh, so it's pretty funny. I also got um, into a fight I, with Doja I, Cat. I, I actually can't talk about what what I'm playing, but right, right. Um, but like, I got an email. I was like, "Oh yeah, sure. Like, I'll, I'll fucking play that, right?" And I was expecting to get some like demo or something. Um, and then they just sent me the full fucking game, and I was like, "Oh, okay. Like, like a hundred dollars." I was like, "I'll fucking take that." Fuck, not again, bro. Which it, it does kind of suck because I would have written a review and put it up today. Um, cause it's kind of pointless otherwise, um, and by the time that, it, it's kind of weird, the NDA, like, the game comes out in no. between the NDA. Dude, I was, oh my god. <sighs> Alright, back to square, square, uh, four. But go ahead, the NDA. So yeah, the game, the NDA, uh, stops at the 25th, I think? Mm. Um, and... But like the game comes out within the next couple days, so. Right. Also, I've been playing a fuck ton of Overwatch. I saw I that. I don't know if, if yeah. like it. Oh shit! Like I, I don't get me wrong. I played a lot of the first one, and this one, like I, I'm, I'm liking it. You now, especially for being free to play. I got the imp I got the import all of my old shit, which I'm super happy about. I was I, I was listening to so you know I drove um, on my like to and from my break and it was a very long car ride so I ended up listening to a lot of podcasts so I listened to like a lot of the uh, Friends per Second podcast which is very good if you're into gaming gaming stuff uh you know, listen to it a lot of cool people on there but. Um, and they actually have an episode with someone who worked on the Steam Deck, uh, which is also interesting. Like, like they shared the their kind of like the inside kind of perspective on. First of all, I didn't know the Valve was such a cool place to work. So like, uh, do you know about Valve? Like how how their management and everything like this? Um, I know that, uh, you know, they uh, just you know keep everyone in the basement. Right. And that's where that's where they hide, you know, Portal Three, Half Life Three, Team right. Fortress Three, you know, yep, yep. until in, until the, the the day of threes, the great no day release of threes, and they, they on the one day they just released March all the... March third of twenty thirty three. Yep, that's it. Um, I, honestly, if they were to do that, it would be great to do that and then put it on at Orange Box Part Two because it would be okay. hilarious. To me. So. <laughs> Essentially, uh, Valve has no management. Like, there's no managers of Valve. You just kind of like once you're part of Valve, you do you just what, whatever you, you do want. whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, and so like there's people who are like, ah, oh, I think like, you know you. Oh, I love the cutscene play. Angle. Are you giving me up to the pigs or to Don Rena's execution squad? I think his entire execution squad is either stuck in my trunk or scattered around that cabin back there. As for the pigs, well, we also just left them behind. So I don't think either of those ideas works. Nah, I don't want to offer you a job. You can probably guess what it entails by now. It's a wild job. But you're a wild, wild guy. guy. Pays well, comes with accommodations, gets Don Rain off your back if I vouch for you. So what do you say? I'm... I'm not proud. I threatened your Charlie Parker cassettes and your car. And me? And you. Look how the characters' lips don't move. They commit to that. Um, 
so wait, okay, so once you're part of a, a, a Valve, they pretty much just say, okay, you know, you're, say you're on Steam and you're like, you know, the, this part of Steam or Steam's UI can be improved, or like, I think that this could be an interesting thing to like to fix, or just whatever. You have an idea, you just do it. No one's gonna breathe, breathe down your neck, you know. It's like you just kind of do it and implement it, and that's it. It sounds like such a ass backwards way of running a company because. What if one person's also like, yeah, this looks like shit, and then you start doing it, and then another person's like, oh, yeah, this looks like shit, and well, then they start doing it? Well, there's communication, so, like, well, how, how, the, how the guy described it, because, like, apparently, it's like, you know, obviously, Valve is a very successful company, so they've, they've clearly got something together, but, like, um, you know, th they'll be, like, they'll be open conversations, and so if you're, if you're talking to someone and be like, oh, you're working on this thing, oh, you should check, talk to John. He's working on like an adjacent thing that he could help you out with, or like you guys can collaborate on working on something like together and the kind of like that. So there's collaborations, obviously the Steam Deck um, was like a, a big thing that they, apparently they had like designs for back when the Steam controller came out. They're like, what if we had a controller, but the screen was in the middle? But at the time, the technology didn't really work to make that efficient. And now, obviously, it does. And they just pretty much sell a pretty, pretty much just a PC at this point. Your turn, Marty. All right. Yeah, I am. Um, but my account. I also have been l listening to some podcasts. Well, uh, I actually listened to the Far Cry 6 Respawn Station podcast while I was at work the other day. <laughs> Just because right, right. I, I was just kind of listening to random shit that I had. Right. Um, I've been listening to fantasy how does, football how podcasts. Hold up? How does it hold up? It holds up. It holds up good. I, I liked it. Like we need that. That's, yeah, we just need to do more of those. I think that it, yeah. that that podcast did do well. I will say, and especially with how many games we get early and or just or on release, you know, like it's it, it's mm -hmm. we have a good kind of flow. We just need to actually get. Get down to re uh, recording it. All right, 1991, at New York City, Queens. Lati never turns her back on friends, whether they like it or not, especially when it comes to Hangman, especially when he goes out alone, especially when he's about to do something incredibly stupid, like bare-faced armed robbery in the middle of Queens kind of stupid. <clears throat> so, yeah, I've, uh, I also discovered a pretty awesome podcast, actually. It's called I Hear Voices. Hmm. Is it a and uh -huh. no, so it's a podcast about voice act. Uh, the ho the host of it are actually the voices like. of Kim Possible and um, Ron Stoppable from Kim Possible. Kim Possible, great, great. Uh, so uh, their names are Christy Romano and Will uh, Fredero. Fred Fredel? I don't know how to pronounce the last name. Um, but it's awesome. They they typically have like a third person on. So they had uh, Kevin Conroy on one episode. Oh, that's cool. Uh, they had the voice of the Looney Tunes on uh, one episode. And they like talk about the history and like how they like manipulate their voices and they like just talk about other voice acting and stuff like that. Um, it's really fucking cool. Like, no, I, I like from my from my short uh, eight eight nine months stint that I've done of voice acting. It's something that I've always I, I want I've, I've always wanted to do more. Um, I think I have a lot on my plate where I don't want to commit to anything right now. Um, press E to hold over obstacles. Oh, cool. But yeah, um, highly, rec highly recommend it. Um, they have like the voice of Naruto on there. Um, uh, Flanagan. So, her, her last name is Flanagan. I don't remember her first name. I think it's like Mally or something like that. But really fun. They're only like 50 minutes to an hour long. It's on Spotify if you ever want to watch it or listen to it. Oh, um, speaking of the, the Friends for Second podcast, they're like two to three hours long. So they're, 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 they're long hauls. But again, when it went out for my road trip, they were like kind of... Yeah, they were yeah like, when you have a long road great, trip. They were great for killing time. They have, yeah, I've also heard good things about some like narrative podcasts and stuff. Like... Uh, like some of like the, the narrative like murder podcasts and stuff. I, I was trying to find a good one. So, okay, so I'm... I don't know, choose this, but I say... Wait, I can say fuck the police. Oh my god, I can just... <laughs> bro, fuck the police. You're just... You're just, you're just <laughs> quoting a, a, a song. Yes, know? yes I am. Look at that. <laughs> um... But I've been writing recently, like a crime story-esque, um, and it's been very 
And I was like trying to get like, you know, find it's I just could not find a, a one that I liked. I listened to like like the starts of a few and I just like couldn't get into it. But I was like ultimately I was like, you know what, it, it, it's better I'll just kind of, you know, work off of my own you know messed up ideas. Do, do people know about what we're... Well, I guess primarily no. you and Alexa are working on? No? No, 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 no. Yeah, that was like a thing that I can't... I had the idea for it la two weeks ago, and so I, I pitched it to Alexa. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's been... We're going to, like, you know, surprise drop it, so it'll it'll kind of... It'll be around the corner. But, yeah. Yeah, no, I, um... I added a couple on there. I thought mine were pretty good. Um, no, I, I, yeah, I saw, I saw you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I, I think there needs to be more to it. I, like, I, I definitely want to like, like at one point have this all on a call and to go more in detail about stuff. But like, I, I like the way I think of how it should be played is, is I, I think the way it should go. If it, if the details you have currently are still being played. play. Ooh, cool. Oh, I'm so screwed. I can't get out of this. How are you dumped? Oh, this is my car. Lady, get the hell out of here. So weird. It feels like... It feels like a Friday, but it's not. I've been like a lazy day. I've had a pretty uneventful day. I didn't even leave the house because it was so it was raining today. And it was really depressing. So yeah, I mean, I I, I worked, I had a couple meetings. Yeah, I, yeah, I had some meetings. Yeah. I had like an hour long meeting with Alexa, <laughs> um, going over some stuff. It was, it was always always a long procedure, which was literally what we were doing. Uh, I, I mean, I don't know if Lex is still listening, but if you do have any time tomorrow, I think um, I have like a couple like half hour things that I have to take care of, but we can hop on a call and talk about the other thing oh, cool. tomorrow sometime. Um, but yeah, like I, I, I worked, I went out, uh, met some people for some food, dropped my car off, and here I am. That's about when it. When do you get your car back? Tomorrow, I, they're just changing the tires. Like I, I bought four new tires because. Okay, so I, let me tell let me tell you about the the other day. So, uh, Wednesday, Wednesday, right? I I wake up early in the morning. Like I said, I have to wake up early to drive to work. And since it's like a little cooler in the morning, and there's like all the what is it mildew or whatever it's called, like like the watery, yeah, like, yeah. you know. Um, I don't know if that I don't know if that's the right word, but we're gonna go with it. Um, and so I, I use my front wipers on my car and everything's good and I go to use my back wipers and it didn't wipe so I was like okay it's just you whatever um, you don't know you don't know my life it could be mildew it could be just disgusting um, but anyway so yeah just you uh, and so I, the back Wait, wipers didn't, didn't wipe anything Mountain Dew? Someone just throwing Mountain Dew over, over, over a car? You gotta do the do. Um, That's what I heard. So yeah, they... So I, I get out of my car because I'm running late. So I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna grab this towel that I, I keep in my back. Um, to, to just wipe off my back windshield. And I look at my wipers as I'm wiping it. And it's fucking gone. My windshield wiper's gone. <laughs> Someone true. took my fucking windshield wiper, my rear windshield wiper. Damn, bro. Damn. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, that's, I was like, first off, that's a little funny because who the fuck would think to steal my windshield wiper? And secondly, I was like, what do you think like, the, the, the story behind that? Is like someone just like I have no fucking like they're idea. Getting into a confrontation because, and they're like, no, fuck you, Bob, and you grab the windshield wiper and start hitting, hitting someone with it. Because it's not just. My like to get to get my back windshield wiper off, right? You have to pop off a fucking plastic cover and then actually undo it. So it took effort. Do, do, do which you, I, does this also suggest that they have the same car as you and they're just wanted to have? No fucking idea. No fucking idea why, when, 
wear. Right. But I, I had to, after work, go buy a new <laughs> fucking windshield wiper and put it on. And then I go and get my car. Um, I get an oil change and just, uh, my, my car is getting close to 100,000 mile mark. So I had to um, get a couple tune ups and like fluids changed and stuff. And one of my tires was slowly leaking. So I was like, all right, fuck it. Like there might be a nail or something there. Just like, you know, fill it. Mm. So like, I just tell them straight up. I was like, whatever it is, just do it. Like, like if it's one tire, do it. do it. If it's fucking four tires, whatever, do all four. And he calls me, he's like, all right, we patched your tires. Uh, there was two holes in one tire. Wow. And if you, don't, if you know anything about tires or just anything about fucking plugging tires, you are not supposed to fucking patch two holes in the same tire. Yeah because it does not work that way. Critical failure. So I couldn't I couldn't get tires like before I had to go back to work. So I fucking came back and had to wait till I guess tomorrow technically to get brand new tires. And so yeah, that's the story about how I dropped about $1,600 on my car in like three days. <laughs> Fun fucking times to be adult. Oh yeah. Do, do, have you ever watched the show New Girl? I fucking love New Girl. Okay, so it's, on, it's a show on that only three. recently pe people started talking about, but well, I've watched it fucking like eighty times. Yeah, so Alexa does. Alexa loves the show, and I watched. And I started watching it, and I'm on season three, and I find the show. The first two seasons were really solid, and I actually think that there's a hot take. I think that if the show ended on season two with like some minor changes, it would have been like a really really good show. But man is does it get just stupid like i just like i i get sitcoms are like ridiculous but like th these characters f suck <laughs> like th they are what, what do you mean suck like, like what? they're like so okay obviously nick was kind of like the idiot at the start of the show but you know it's bad but like when nick is the only reasonable person like i think there's a first or second episode in, in season uh three is like schmidt is cheating actively mm -hmm. cheating and covering it up winston's like oh, i'm gonna kill a cat and uh <laughs> and Je Je i don't even know i forget what the fuck jess is oh jess is like trying to break into our, the principal's house even though her like it's our dream job mm -hmm. and nick is the only one telling everyone to be like stop like don't do whatever the hell you're doing and Every everything that happens gets perpetually worse. Like the only thing that I really, honestly enjoy about it right now is the fact that like Jess and Nick have a really good like chemistry and relationship. Like they're the way they like you could kind of. I knew from like the first episode I called. I was like, okay, yeah, you knew you knew that they were gonna, gonna be, be the the but yeah. The I love was interest, I was yeah. surprised at how well that relationship actually made sense. It wasn't like forced. Like it, like, mm -hmm. it felt natural, which was cool. Um, but, but yeah. so here's the here's the thing though is that like in that situation right there's a reason why like Nick is the only you know level-headed one right mm -hmm. um, like throughout the whole thing like obviously like Schmidt's whole deal is that he's kind of like a kind of like a rich boy kind of attitude you know right right um, and it, it, it's also kind of weird considering like Kevin said he's what like the hell Perkins I don't know what 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 about uh, uh, probably me dropping all that money oh, right on right it makes sense car um, <laughs> yeah. Um, but so, you know, he's, he's like a rich boy and that's how, how he acts. Like he thinks he's invincible, yeah, yeah. you know, that very stereotypical, like persona of a of rich uh -huh. white guy. Um, Winston, although growing up with Nick in Chicago, uh, was going through the whole thing with his not girlfriend, um, which led to the whole killing of the cat, cat thing. thing which also um, I, I find that cat not very very <laughs> like, or not attractive i don't mean that that was weird but yeah no no i, I get what you're saying uh, yeah you don't want to fuck the cat just yeah, say it that's, <laughs> that's it that's it it's yeah. okay yeah, it's, it's okay i don't know if it's socially acceptable to say that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> i think i think it's okay to say you don't want to fuck cats i think the only problem okay, cool. is when you say you, you do, do want to okay, fuck the okay. cat. I'll, I'll if you're like that. wow that cat is fucking sexy then that's a problem you know, you know what I mean, um, man. It's just being, you know, Indian. It's <laughs> the language confusion. It's, um, but um, but like, so like his mind wasn't in the right place. Right, right. Uh, well, Jess, I, I, get, I, I think well, in the episode, it, actually, it was like her trying to fit in at the new school. Yep. yep. 
and that's uh, why and I it was like about, the cool though, teachers like, about how like 80 percent of modern sitcoms and alexa said it's just all sitcoms which i i can i can agree with but they're just people not being able to under like just accept their own like feelings or emotions they're just com completely in denial but the show turns it up to like 11 like oh uh, like what, what are your thoughts on how i met your mother like wait comparatively i i think how i met your mother is better I agree. I agree. I also yeah, wish so, watched watch but, how I mean, but, but I, but so I think, I think like here's, a, here's the thing. Here's the thing, though. New Girl, I think, is better when you watch it in succession. You know, when you well, yeah, when you know the whole I'm story, when you're invested. Right. Mm. How I Met Your Mother, because it's it's so you good. You don't. I think every episode time, could be standalone. Well, That's the first what I'm saying. Time you you can, watch How I Met Your Mother. It's like you really have that like where is it going type of thing but yeah you can pick and, up and plus up like e yeah even just thinking about like the first fucking episode like the first episode of how i met your mother is awesome like uh that's what you know he meets robin and steals the trumpet off the wall and like right right, right. good episode the also, first episode dude, dude, of new girl a little bit off, off, was off topic but also on topic i i didn't know this but um i was uh, watching an interview with uh neil neil patrick harris and, and he yeah. said that there's a reoccurring bit in um, in uh, How Me Your Mother where every time uh, Barney uses chopsticks, he cannot eat food. And it's like it's not like a gag that like there's some certain gags you know that they keep like they're very like oh this is like yeah a gag. like the like the um, major inconvenience you know yes. like yeah like, yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 um, but but. <laughs> Once again, and then they show all these clips, and it's literally in the background. You just see like Barney eating Chinese food, and every like he's just the whole scene is him struggling in the background to eat, <laughs> get the food to his mouth with chopstick, and it's so funny that, that they just did that in the background. Um, but uh, that's pretty funny. But I, I will say, and I think I'm going to start in the cutscene here. But I, I think that I'll let you continue. But I, I think that uh, what the fuck, Seinfeld, go. Go, go show. It's so and then, it's it's so funny because I I helped my friend who recently just bought a house, mm -hmm. um, move some shit like um like we had to return flooring and stuff like that, mm -hmm. um, and so I helped him with that. And while we're in the car, he's like, he's like yeah, like I haven't really had time to play video games or anything. He's like, he's like I've just been fucking watching Seinfeld. I was like, dude, Hell yeah, fucking I've watched the shit out of Seinfeld the past yep. couple of years, and it's funny because I remember a time when I was a child. And my dad would put on Seinfeld. Mm. And I'd be like, this show fucking sucks. sucks. Can you please turn on some fucking cartoons or yeah, something, yeah. you know? Like, and like, it, it just, nothing about it was funny. Because it's so honestly dry of humor, right? Mm -hmm. Because, like, the, the the beauty of the show is in the writing. And how this and very small piece of whatever becomes this huge fucking problem by the end of the show. The, and the it's fact so that you, beautiful. Well, the, the, the I, I thought of it because you were talking about how uh, how many mother is you can watch any episode. Seinfeld, you can watch pretty much any, any episode, episode anytime. Yeah. And I think there's like one or two that are like continuing. Like the last one, episode thing. is oh, literally okay, it. Okay. The last well, episode is the only the fucking episode you, you can just watch. go in at any time and you're like, I know what's going on. I know where these characters because the, the characters do not progress. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, so, like, so at any point, you know exactly where the characters are in terms of like their character beats, because there is no character beats. It's that they end and right. start and end in the same place per episode, and no. obviously at the end of the show they get go to jail. <laughs> so and literally, it, like so that's what the end of the show really is. Is it shows because like the, you're supposed to be rooting for these people the whole time. They're the main characters of the show, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so like you realize that all these small, really fucked up occurrences that happen along the way, Start they're actually edit. terrible fucking yeah, people. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then there's like a whole court scene where people are just back to back, like saying exactly what happened. And then they get locked up. And then to further your point, Jerry Seinfeld does a fucking stand up set in prison, in prison. <laughs> you know, like literally does not change despite being yeah, in the prison. Pattern, the pattern doesn't change. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, th and, like that's the, that's the thing is that. They are who they are. They mm. don't change for jack shit. And like they're just terrible fucking people. And it's yep. it's just so funny. Like Oh wait, one second. Nineteen ninety four, New York City, Staten Island. U Usenet is full of 
peculiar threads. For example, who's the mysterious LA crime scene cleaner? It took Aaron weeks to uh, of a thorough investigation to figure out that he's here in New York City and he's heading to a Staten, I- Staten Island morgue. She beats him to it for a chance to prove herself. Yeah, I um, I think I also like the fact that he, they did it. I think not primarily, but like a big part of why they did it was just so that they could they could not continue the show. Like they're like we're there in jail. Right. Uh, there was a, yeah. There's a legitimate reason why the show wouldn't work. Yeah. And if I don't. Get out of it with only a slap on the but yeah, like even episodes where, um, like George and Jerry are like, like we should really change, you know? Yeah. Like, like literally the the whole like um, the pact of like we got to get married, and then George pulls the trigger and Jerry doesn't because it's like over a very small detail of the of a woman, and and George is like we had a pact, and like it it turns into a whole fucking like plot of him trying to murder his wife, kind of like yep, yep. It, it's just. Fucking great. Right, trash can. I feel like I'm yeah. back in Fortnite. I, I'm currently I, also. I, I recently watched Cheers, like past couple of years. Like uh, I've recent. Never, I've never watched it. Um, highly fucking recommend it. Like it, it's definitely. People nowadays couldn't watch it because, you know, it was made in the 70s. You mm-hmm. know, so there's a lot of like. Um, like women should know their place kind of like right. speak um and like it just just like sexist kind of comments like that um which at the time you know it's well, just that's, that's what i was gonna way I it was type that a reply to alexa because when she said that's what most sitcoms are i was like well i say modern sitcoms because old sitcoms had a healthy dose of racism and sexism thrown oh in there as well. no literally watch the fucking honeymooners it does not even subtly imply that he was beating the shit out of his wife he literally raises his fucking hand to her every fucking episode like it's not subtle at all yeah it's i mean we've we've you know We've come a long way, I think. Still, still a way to go, but we've come a long way. Yeah, we've we've progressed. Oh my god, it's like playing cyberpunk. Um, but I, I'm currently I'm watching. Um, I, I've already watched this show, but it's kind of the show I have in the background uh, while I fall asleep. Mm. Uh, the Good Place. Another. Oh, I think I'll uh, see. Look, Alexa's like a big TV person, so I'm pretty sure she's uh already seen like seen most of the, those kind of shows um but yeah uh-huh. I, I, I i've heard also good things about because that's Kristen bell right hashtag kindula punk thank you kevin no it's it's uh ted dancing ted dances wait what show is this the good place yeah that's Kristen bell oh Kristen bell i thought you said christian bale i was like <laughs> i don't think he's in the fucking show uh, yes yes, yes. <laughs> this dude's an idiot he just looked at me. Did that woman crawl? Oh no, it's nothing. But yeah, um, also very good fucking show. Cheers, I have not seen, but Good Place is great. There you go. I told you. I told you. Watch Cheers. Honestly, it, it's a very good. Sh- yeah, yeah. No Christian Bale. That would be great. Yeah. Christian Bale is like the devil or something in the Good Place. I, 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 I saw him talking about working on Thor and yeah, and how like. The green screen he work was just. He like, hated uh, the green screen. Yeah, yeah. It makes it the most Christian Bale because obviously you would hate it. It would be weird if he was like, oh, "I love working. I love working on the green screen. It really, really challenged me as an actor to my imagination." Like, I'll be like, "Oh wow, Christian Bale's stepping out of his boundaries here." So Cheers used to be on Netflix, but it got switched to. Oh, but um. Okay, go ahead, go. I'll let you finish. It. It's either switched to Hulu or. One of the other bullshit, like. So, did you see that the Netflix Paramount has Plus the or... cheap version up up now, like with ads in six ninety nine? No. Okay. I mean, so who the fuck would there, do that? There's a, no, 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 who would but, do that? Okay. So here's the thing. I, I saw a few people arguing that it should, if you, if there's, if a streaming service has ads, it should be free, which is interesting because that's what like, Tubi and stuff like that do, which I do like Tubi. Uh, Tubi has um, great library of. Uh, uh, of movies and shows and it really makes you ask ask you the question like to be or not to be but the but like, so bad. it's seven ninety nine or six ninety nine for Netflix and it has ads but the thing that really annoys me if it was just Netflix you get like regular Netflix experience I'd be like okay it's fine it's only 720p 
like oh, all the, that's it, even worse. It sucks. Like, why? Who would be like? I'm, like I mean, I'm sure there's gonna be some people who are gonna be like, oh, I'll, I'll buy it. But like, like imagine you know, Stranger Things. You know, yeah, this exactly. Like, it's it's already super point. dark, and like you need to be able to see every little detail. You know, like you want us to get that shit crystal fucking clear. Yeah. Uh, it, it, yeah, it's crazy. Um, I also, I also came across a random. Fa I'm gonna. That, that's the next show I'm gonna watch is Family Guy because I've watched American Dad and I I love the show. I, I, it's one of my favorites. Um, but I, I, every time I see Family Guy, I'm like, this is hilarious. Like, I saw an episode where it's um, or a clip from an episode where it's like the, they're all in like this medieval armor and he's like, now it's time for the greatest battle in television history. But it's gonna be so dark you can't see it, and we're gonna blame it on your television screen. And then the whole screen just turns <laughs> like like black. <laughs> and they're like, oh god, this is fight. Well, so it, it's oh, making shit. fun of Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah, no, that's what, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It teased it to be the greatest fucking um, battle, like, or the the, yeah, the the most bloody battle, have the you, longest have you battle. Been watching um, House of Dragon. Yeah, yeah. I have not. I also haven't watched the Ring of Power either yet. Yeah, I mean, I'm, you know, like, what well, we've been over this, I, I like to watch stuff after it's kind of aired, so I don't have to, like, I can kind of watch it on my own terms, so... Wait, uh, so, are you, House of Dragon, we, are you going to watch that before Game of Thrones? After well, Game of Thrones? it's a prequel, right? So, I, I figured it out. It is, in fact, a prequel, but I feel like, I, once again, I haven't watched even a second of this show, but I feel like it probably would well, be more it's, it's the Same thing with, uh, I mean, Lord of the Rings, I have, I have watched, so, or I've, I've watched all the world over things multiple times but um it is also a prequel so right that's why i was like i'll just watch them whenever oh there you go well you know i mean technically better call saul is a prequel too but i would probably oh, say fair. it makes that's more fair. sense if you watch breaking bad you should watch game of thrones before house of dragons alexa you haven't seen I, the last go. season of game of thrones or any of house of dragons as far as i know honestly it's very surprising that alexa hasn't gotten the last season of game of thrones spoiled for her it is, you know, it's really, yeah, it's really impressive. I, I was, I'm writing, writing into someone um, that I used to work with, and uh, at, at, the, at the grocery store uh, a few days ago, and they were like, "Oh yeah, we're talking about like this, and that this crazy scene happened, and like the C-section," and I was like, "See, I, I don't even know the names of these characters, so like, it isn't like I, I can't get spoiled." Like, <laughs> I fucking watched the first season of Game of Thrones six times, maybe. Like, fully. Mm -hmm. Still didn't know who the fuck people's names were. <laughs> like, I, I was like, why does it matter if this dude dies and this dude dies and this dude doesn't die? I was like, it makes zero sense to me. Why the fuck does this matter for anything? And it took me so long of, like, understanding the family tree. And, like, it's such yeah. a big part of the story that if you don't know that, you are not gonna understand what the fuck this show's about. Because that, like, bloodlines and shit is, like, a huge fucking part of the show. I, I heard, uh, by the way, after this level, we're gonna, we're gonna call it a night, but, um, but I heard, uh, George R. R. Martin really liked the show. House of just, Dragons? Yeah, because I don't think he actually worked on it. Like, he obviously created I, the world, but, like... I think he gave the input of, um, it needs to be at least four seasons long, or something like right, that. Right, right, right. Uh, Alexa said it's all about family. Like all family. good movies. What a fucking and shows. What a fucking idiot. I have no idea what the best way to get out of this place is. The way you're going about it, it looks like the only way you're getting out is a body bag. Dude, there's so many goddamn cops everywhere. Well, in all fairness, I would hope there'd be a lot of cops at a crime scene. Oh no, wait, no, this is the mortuary, so it's just this is just the security guards. Wait, you're in a fucking morgue cleaning up dead bodies? This is where dead bodies go. <laughs> this is where you want the dead bodies. Get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out of here! I don't know. Uh, dude, I don't know how to click go of the body, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Ah, you fucked it. Yeah. Alright, let's go over here. Got two bodies and one evidence. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, you idiot. You big dum-dum. Give me that body. Go give me that body. Where are you going? 
Go give me that body. I'm dead. start uh cyberpunk oh i um i haven't played it much but I, i've actually you know progressed in the story i, I was just about to say because so like um i haven't been able to really so i'm still on my cyberpunk kick i i just actually transferred my save from xbox to playstation so i can play on my ps5 mm -hmm. um which shout out like that's a um, awesome feature that so now you can essentially play it cyberpunk on any platform and have your save ready put what your last save ready on it like ready to go which is super that's awesome. cool um that's very cool but I, i'm like i'm so in i was like i was like maybe like do i want to start another save just to play it you know actually just play it again with a completely different build than what i'm doing on stream and stuff but i haven't gotten there yet i'm obviously playing mafia now but i haven't gotten a chance to really talk about Cyberpunk to anyone because, like, you know, Alexa watched Edge Runners, um, and then like fell asleep at the last episode, and so like she watched the last episode later, so it, like, the impact doesn't land because it's like a, it's essentially just like a long movie, right? It's like mm. three hour movie essentially. Um, I've heard nothing but good things about the show, and I, I think someone, uh, it was like big news that a mod came out, uh, someone made a mod for like Cyberpunk Cyber where. Yeah, the cyber psychosis. Right, right. Which is like apparently a big sh a big part of Edge Runner. Well, yeah, it's well they discuss it even in the game too, just like you know going kind of in like uh, chroming up uh, and stuff like that. But um, but I haven't really been able to really talk to people about it because uh, you know you and Nick haven't played it, um, and then Alexa's watched it but she hasn't played it so like all the stuff that i think like I've, I've picked up on i think are cool or i've, I've, I've discovered i can't really like mm. talk about but uh, i was talking it, it's crazy you you mentioned that you you're gonna you're playing it now because uh nick originally was like oh, i'm gonna play the game uh like sometime next year is his, was his plan but then he, yeah, we had a, a meeting on wednesday about what remains we have a meeting every wednesday about what remains to check up you know see where it's going and everything like that and he's like, oh, yeah, I think I'm going to start it, like, this week. Um, or not this week, like, like in, the, in the next few weeks, because... Oh, fuck, please, don't do it. Guys, listen, listen. Oh, shit. Um, because he, he's been, like, I guess, you know, it's really, like, you can't escape Cyberpunk if you're in the ga into gaming right now, because it's so... Yeah, it's it's a big, it's a it's big topic. so prevalent, which is crazy, because mm. it's been two and a half years since it came, or no, three years since it came out? How long? Uh, it came out right before the PlayStation, so about two years. Yeah, a which is, two years. Yeah, two years. Crazy um, that it's getting a resurgence, which also makes sense because, uh, honestly speaking, this is when the game should have come out. <laughs> you know? Um, yeah. Because it's just like this is the state. Like the state that the game is in now, I think, is the state that it should have shipped in initially. But that's a topic for another day. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, so how far in are you? you? You can, like, again, you won't spoil anything for me because. I've, I've like I said, I, I didn't get super far. Like I um, uh, because I was doing it between like trainings that I had to do uh for work and stuff. Um, I just met with like the big boss guy right at the beginning. Oh. Uh, um, ja uh not fuck it. Jesus. <laughs> not not Jesus, but I know what you're talking about. I know the, no, they, they call him, they call him Black, the Jesus, Black Jesus, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But, but I'm trying to think of his character name and I'm. Uh, D Deshaun? No, is that it? It might be it's something like that, but I don't think it's spelled like Deshaun. Like now I'm gonna, normal. Now I'm gonna have to look it up. <laughs> Cyber. I can look it up. I can look oh, it up. Okay, I can yeah, look that's it up. Fair, you that's keep fine. All right. I'm almost there. I have one body and one evidence. Um, Dexter Deshaun, isn't that his name? That sounds. That sounds right. Dexter Deshaun. I'm looking at him there. He's a great character. I just typed I typed in Black Jesus. 
<laughs> so like oh, so did you just get into into the car with him is that what you're saying yeah like right after that is where i stopped okay I, I will tell you this i know you you're saying that you you're making it in you haven't even gotten to the title card yet <laughs> oh i know i know <laughs> that's what i'm saying is i know i'm nowhere near that's when i think but, the game really lets you run wild once you've gone through do, do you know what happens yeah. in the game his, or anything? His, like, name, his name's dex his name's dex. dex right right um cool I, i'm i'm not a poser um do you know anything about the game at all like like where it goes or no mm -mm. oh dude I, i'm so excited i want you to keep me in the loop <laughs> well i mean like so the thing is right right that i started it i'm currently playing the thing i'm, I'm playing that i can't talk about um, Overwatch 2, I've been I've been playing, and October 21st is an important release day, as the new Tales from Borderlands comes out. Um, and not that it really matters, but Gotham Knights also comes out. Uh, the new Tales from Borderlands, I mean, if it's anything like the last one, I've, you know? One, I mean, we both have very high... Fuck opinions and thoughts of the first tales from oh, borderlands yeah, yeah. so love, if it's love borderlands. if yeah, it's yeah. anything close to that I, like i'm happy like anything close to it but uh, they uh, have i the, think they, they have the same team as some of the like as part of the original game but mm -hmm. i also don't like i think it's fuck shit oh i fucked up well so i think i think they um <clears throat> Like, this one's more interactive, it looks like, than the original mm -hmm. Tales from Borderlands. So, that'll be interesting, like, of that way of going yeah, about yeah. it, but... It looks better, too, visually, but obviously you'd expect that from, you know... Yeah, like, I mean, the original Tales was a 360 game. Yeah, yeah. I played it on the PS4, but that was just, like, yeah, this is the port, I think. I don't think it was anything mm -hmm. significantly special. Yeah, and I mean, they did... I, do like an update to where you get like a, a bonus like not bonus but like a they kind of updated it to be ps5 and xbox series x as well uh, oh yeah for, and if you it, that was for the new game like or it was like it was to promote the new game or something like that right yeah yeah it was just to promote it and if you buy the ten dollar more edition of the new tales from borderlands you actually get a copy of uh, the original tales from borderlands a digital copy I'm not gonna fucking stop. What are you doing? You, you crazy? Looks at back how it's going. Uh, how's Almost it going? Over. I mean, Sari is struggling. No, no, I got it. I got it. I got it. One more body. I'm good. <clears throat> I just wasn't expecting that guy to be there. Oh, yeah. So that comes out October. November, right. of course, is a God of War Ragnarok. Boy, you know, uh, your mother taught you to hunt, yes? Good. I am hungry. Still remember that moment. Goosebumps every time I think about it, being in that theater, hear, see, hearing the crowd just go ape shit. It's gonna be super fucking awesome for that game. Um, and then after that, we Fuzzy got. Fuzzy just completed it. He, he popped into stream the other week. Dana, how I played it. I, I'm, oh, I'm also, on my second, well, speaking third. Of fuzzy, congratulations to him on the on the two successful surgery. Yeah, congrats, congrats. Always love to hear some good medical procedure. There we go, cool. Almost there, boys. Oh, yeah, Gets so. to my car. So that's coming out, and then we got. <clears throat> Something coming out, I think, in January. One or two games, yeah. Um. Dude. Oh my. Damn. Dude, can you believe my fucking. You better, you better not fuck it. You better not fuck it right here. Wow. He, he was not really committed These to that, Jace. <laughs> These dumb. <laughs> I'll take it. How do I dispose? Oh, I can't. Oh, shit. 
You can't dispose of it there? No, I have to, he's like in vision. You can't do it in, 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 in the sight of him. He's gonna leave that body though there, right? Look a good cop. Wouldn't that have been something if he Look carried it? Yeah, right. Fuck that. <laughs> that would have been so painful. Oh my god. <laughs> hey. Should we get, should we get, should we get? Okay. Aim it right. Position the freaking body correctly. Dude. Uh, this guy's curious. This there guy's is, curious. There it is, there it is, there it is. There it is. Oof. Get away. My god. Oh, yeah, and then February, um, everything comes Hog out of February. But I just don't get Hogwarts Legacy, uh, oh, Forspoken. So no, it's so March. Can, can we take a second? Uh, okay, I'll flip the cut to you and then we can finish the conversation. Wow. Your friends must be regular freaking comedians. Nuh uh. They're super cool hackers who steal sports cars and take a lot of drugs. I like the fact that she has Joy Con colors uh, on her hair. Ahead of her no. time. My corpse cleaning competences are considerable, Mr. Leaner. And I'm a big fan of the work you did in the 70s. Bloodlust. Wow. Yeah, uh huh. Well, I hear you. Let me think. Uh, so how did you? You teach me how to clean up IRL, I teach you how to clean up online. Deal? Uh, I want to dye my hair like that, says Alexa. Yeah, go for time, it. Get yourself some body bags and a good vacuum cleaner. A vacuum? You're refusing to take me seriously, aren't you? You old fart. Um, what the hell are we talking? Oh yeah, yeah. So, can we take a second to appreciate the fact Boom. that Hi. Sonic Frontiers know. comes out like two Piper? days before God of War Ragnarok? Sonic is like, yeah, I could. He he may have killed Kratos, but me, <laughs> not a shot. Can't kill speed. <laughs> I am speed. This is like a second intro. But, um, yeah, it, a lot of great games coming out. I think, you know, it's, it's the product of, like, all the games that were supposed to have come out during it's, COVID. It's, the, it's literally COVID, yeah, it pushed all, everything back so much. They're all that it's coming just, out at once. <laughs> yeah, it's just going to be overloaded. And, like, it, it's so bad that like we didn't even mention, you know, like the the other games like so the Pokemon. About to end. It's Jesus. Uh, what was like, it? go ahead. Yeah, po yeah Pokemon. Comes po out. Pokemon comes out. Call of Duty comes out. You yeah, know, yeah. like all of these games that like, like on top of all these great games, you know, is Nick was uh, telling me about how he just bought. He was he was telling me about how you you, you both played um. Modern, Modern Warfare. Warfare yeah, and yeah. Really Oh, Act 1 complete. Perfect timing. That was really good. Oh, look at that. Um, but he said he just well, bought a copy of time. Battlefield 2042 for like world nine bucks There's or something. For, for fucking $25, shipping included, I got <laughs> Battlefield 2042 sealed, Rainbow Six Extraction sealed, Damn. and fucking um, uh, Resident Evil Village for the PS4, sealed. Oh, oh, I'll, I'll do you one better, dude. So I went to the, I went to Walmart the other day, just, just for like, I think food or something I was getting. Um, and I, I saw a copy of Just Dance 2021 for the PS5. All right, guess how much it was. Well, you sent me the picture, so oh, was it shit, I dude. just pull up the picture. It was what, five bucks? Three bucks. Three bucks. Yeah, I, I knew um, it was. But it, yeah, I, I, yeah. I really, I forgot. I don't know why I forgot that I sent. I literally sent it to you immediately after I got it because that's what I do. Um, oh yeah, I'll do you one better. I bought Godfall for a hundred dollars. <laughs> you got me there. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight PS5 games. I think I have. You have more than me. I think. You you had eight like before me. I think. Well, I think I bought four right off the bat. Like, I bought Miles Morales, Godfall. Oh, right, yeah. Assassin's Call of Creed Duty, Valhalla, too, right? And Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Yep, so that's yep. four right there. I bought um, I bought uh, Valhalla, Fe uh, Mortals, Phoenix, uh, Rising, Rising, and Guardians of the Galaxy for 20 Oh, Gu each. Guardians of the Galaxy I have? Yeah. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy I have, so that's five. But, of course, five. you can't forget my first PS5 game, which is uh, Resident Evil Village, which, is, of course, we got to play a stream. Uh, but anyway, 
uh, sort of chit-chatting for today. That was Act 1 of Serial Cleaners. I had a good time. It was fun chatting around. Um, I think this is like a good game to just kind of chill stream. Yeah, Um, it's a chill. Yeah, I mean, that's what these games are. That's exactly what you want from this game. It it is trial and error, but it's also like that uh, risk-reward type of thing, which is always awesome. Um, And... It's, it's a very strong aesthetic. Just kind of give my thoughts. It's a very strong aesthetic, but I think it pulls it off. The characters are interesting, um, but the gameplay is really kind of like the, the core gameplay is, is where where it's at. And it's dumb as fuck AI uh, during <clears throat> some of the sequences. But that also, I, I like when games can be cheesed a little bit, um, especially games like this. Um, I also played a game recently called Party Hard, which is kind of the similar idea, but you're a killer instead of a cleaner. So, it, but it also has like a similar, like you can juke the AI really easily. So when the cops are after you, you can just hop through a window and then hop back in and hop through a window <laughs> and get away. But um, yeah, that was, that was cool. Um, again, thank you to Draw Distance for uh, giving us a copy of the game to check out. I just want to check real fast because we talked about it earlier. Uh, it's going to add. I don't know why Steam asked me for my birthday when I'm logged in. Okay, so it's developed by Draw Distance. It's published by 505 Games. Um, it is out now, I believe, on like pretty much PlayStation, Xbox, um, and PC. This is the PC version that we've been playing so far uh, today. And it's currently sitting at a mostly positive on Steam. So that's cool. If you're interested, you can check it out. Um, it is $24.99. Yep, twenty four ninety nine, and the first one is on. Not, I don't think it's on sale, but it's fourteen ninety nine. The, the original one. But anyway, <clears throat> thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, Alexa, or not Alexa? <laughs> Damn, I can't believe I said Alexa. Oh, no, it's cool. I haven't been here in a while. I deserve it. <laughs> uh, Alexa, yeah, Alexa. Thanks for <laughs> thanks for joining, <laughs> thanks for joining. Talking about New Girl and Cheers, all the stuff that Alexa would talk about. Alexa loves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but awesome. Thank, thanks for chatting. We'll, we'll, we'll be back tomorrow um, yeah. playing something. I don't think we've decided yeah, yet, but we'll be playing. We have not. But we we'll have be playing. Not, so. so thanks for watching, and until next time, have a good night, good morning, and a damn good time. <laughs>